Welcome back to the AHEAD Europe Awards 2020 Virtual Masquerade Ball. Don't forget, this is your last chance to post pictures of your outfits wherever you may be watching us from and be in with a chance to win a very special prize. It's time to conclude tonight's performance, so please welcome back your host, Guy Dietrich. Hello and welcome to the second part of AHEAD Europe 2020 our series of awards that celebrate the best in hospitality experience and design across the globe. We have seen some great winners already from Belgium, Greece, Italy and the UK. The Apple Hotel in the Sud Tirol and the Standard London have managed to pick up a few trophies between them in some competitive categories. And there's plenty more to discover in the second part of Ahead Europe, not forgetting the Hotel of the Year Award. I'm Guy Dietrich, Editor-at-Large of Sleeper, and it's my pleasure to take you through the remaining seven categories in this year's awards. Before we continue with the presentations, let's find out what our judges thought about the entries they were lucky enough to scrutinize. I found the entries very diverse and very unique. Uh, they were all coming from different geographical locations and cultural backgrounds. We are always looking for originality, innovation, being location specific, level of details, the use of materials. Have the designers met a specific brief, what the customer experience is like. What makes a great project into an amazing project is projects that are holistically complete, whether it's from the original vision of the project, the context, the aesthetics, you know, the materiality. It's got a very strong narrative, it's got a strong feeling and memorable. The Hotel New Build category entries were very diverse. It's always an amazing opportunity to introduce a new fabric to an existing cityscape, but it comes with a lot of responsibility as well. And I think we were also looking at how respectful these entries were to their surroundings. I think the New Build is one of the most challenging categories in the whole awards because it's really a blank cap and it's an opportunity for client, design team, developer to make a statement of intent and to push boundaries. The lodges, cabins and tented camps category was extremely interesting and such a varied mix of projects absolutely engaged the panel in vigorous debate. For me, if I'm going to go to one of those properties, it's to escape and find space and time to think. When we were judging the lodges, camps and tented categories, we were looking for places that manifested a very strong relationship between the environment and the built environment. I think the restaurant category this year was specifically very strong. It created a lot of debate and questions amongst the judges. This was the most hard fought category with such a wide offering of projects. This is probably the most complex environment to get right from a designer, from an operator to a developer. Trying to capture the menu, the food offering, the experience, the aesthetics of the space. I think a suite is always a treat. It should feel very luxurious and elevated and needs to provide something that you can't have at home. Suites have evolved as they adapt to guest aspirations. What do they want the suite to do? There's diversity in product, whether it's a city suite or a countryside escape monastery type environment. It depends what the guest is looking for. It's been an absolute pleasure to judge the awards this year with so many strong contenders over the categories. I feel very honoured to be a judge in this year's AHEAD Awards because the categories were in such high standards and it made our job very difficult. But I wish the best of luck to every single entry and I hope that I will see you again in the near future. Thanks to our judges for sharing their knowledge and views. Please keep doing the same and spread the word using our social hashtags. We start part two with the award for new build properties and it's sponsored by Rocker and here's Lee Breeds. For us it's very simple. Our brand has become recognized as a, a key sponsor, but it's not about being brand on screen, it's more than that. It's about being active and creating the most emblematic projects around the world. Here come the contenders on the new build shortlist, all from the north of the region. Dakota, Manchester, England. Hart Shoreditch Hotel, London. Mm -hmm. 
Lindley, Lindenburg, Frankfurt. Market Street Hotel, Edinburgh. And now, Amsterdam Rye, the Netherlands. And from those, our judges thought the winner is, quite simply, a project with a great aura that fills you with anticipation and curiosity. Let's see who that is. It's back to Rockers Lee Breeds to reveal our winner. And the winner is... Lindley Lindenberg. Many congratulations. The Lindley Lindenburg is a playful and inventive hotel. Its design is based around the combined experience of both long-term and overnight guests. Together, they share a large number of fresh and colorful living spaces. Its unmissable facade topology showcases the hotel and is a great use of architecture to create a real street presence. for this really special award. Thank you Studio Abaya and Architecture Architects. Matthias Hohlfelder, Boris Lukic and Kati Keppel. Thanks to Performance Screen. Team Lindenberg, the best. Piotrick and team. Pixelgarten. Viola. Oof. Viola Beuscher and Team Seven Swans. Pigment Floristic. Franken Architects. Simon Bolz and Oliver Tamanini. Arthur Becker. Thank you. <laughs> Hotel new build winner, Lindley Lindenberg. Congratulations to Franken and Architecten and Studio Arberja. And our thanks to Rocker. We like to look each other in the eye and extend a welcoming hand. We like to chat, even if it's just about the weather or yesterday's game. And the sun, we love the sun. We like to celebrate life and its wonders. We like to transform ideas into reality, and we like it even more if it brings a smile. We like to be at the forefront, but we'd never switch a conversation for technology. We like to acknowledge that we're all uniquely different and our needs are not the same. We like design, if design makes life easier. We like order, and also like to throw it all up in the air sometimes. And think to the future, thinking of others, those who are near and afar. We like to remember that most significant things are built together as a family. But what we like most of all is to be by your side. That's why we've always been there, the way we like it, for over a hundred years.
Rocker, there for you. Now it's time for our Lodgers, Cabins and Tented Camps Award. From our trophy sponsor, Lasvid, here's Pavel Kathir. In past years, Lasvid decorated many of the awarded projects with the beauty of Czech glass. We are glad these projects, as well as piece of our inspiration, get into the spotlight thanks to AHA. And the nominations are 57 Nord, Ardelve, Scotland. 57 Nord, Ardelve, Scotland. Arctic Bath, Harrods, Sweden. A second shortlisting for them. Camp Hawks, Oxfordshire. Casa Palerm, Mallorca. And tree houses at Ramside Hall Hotel, Durham. Of those, the judges chose their winner for the exquisite blending of interior and exterior. To reveal the winner, from our trophy sponsor Lasvid, here's Pavel Kathir. And the winner is Casa Palerm. Congratulations. This is Paloma Arnaiz, co-director from OH Lab in Palma de Mallorca. We want to thank AHEAD Awards for this recognition to be part of this amazing selection of projects. We also want to thank our clients and also to our team in OH Lab to make this possible. Thanks a lot. Lodgers, cabins and tented camps winner, Casa Palerm. Congratulations to them and OLAB. Feeling peckish? Our next award is for restaurants and the contenders are Decimo at the Standard London. Helene de Roz at the Connaught London. Helios at Four Seasons Astere Palace Hotel Athens. Memories Sven Vasmeer at Grand Resort. Bad Regaz, Switzerland. And Maoris at Cretan Malia Park, Crete. A tough category to judge here, with both Michelin starred kitchens and more down to earth entries. The judges saw in their winner a unique venue with outstanding details and a confident, immersive dining experience. From the judging panel, Here's Stefan Raya to reveal our winner. Thank you, Guy. And the winner is Decimo at Standard Hotel London. Cheers, congratulations. This destination rooftop restaurant is a refreshing bit of theatre with stunning views over London. It is also a restaurant with a point of view. With a strong yet soothing colour scheme, a mix and match of international references, the judges love the foliage, Decimo is the perfect dining venue. Restaurant winner, Decimo at the Standard. Another for the mantelpiece in King's Cross. Next in the spotlight is the Sweet Award. This is sponsored by Laufen and here's John Bond. All of the awards celebrate design excellence. Um, you could argue that the Sweet is the, uh, the, the distillation of that design vision. Uh, the epitome, if you like, of what the designer is, is looking to make real. And that really appealed to us. Thanks, John. There are five contenders on the sweet shortlist. They are Arua Private Spa Villas, Murano, Italy. Eki's All Senses Resort, Vorvaru, Greece. Lincoln House at Rosewood, London. No 
Bell Suite at Grand Hotel Oslo. And Nobu Hotel, Barcelona. Some big names involved amongst those. The winner was, in the words of one judge, ballsy, sophisticated, tactile and deceptively clever. Really, that's what he said. To reveal that winner from Laufen, it's back to John Bond. Thanks, Guy. And the winner is... Eki's All Senses Resort. Congratulations. Our judges saw here a project that achieves the rare feat of being completed true to the original vision. Inspired by local monasteries, guests are enveloped in an aura of mysticism and calmness. The design is largely unseen with an extremely well thought through collage of natural finishes. Here, barefoot luxury meets honest and atmospheric interiors. Kalispera from Greece, thank you so much Haida Awards for the honor. A huge thank you to our creative, amazing, unique, hardworking, funny, easygoing team. IKEAS is a lifelong project with heart and soul and we will keep it like this. Let's keep the planet safe. Kalavradi from Greece. Many congratulations to Eki's All Senses Resort, winner of our Sweet Award. Well done, Agark Architects in Athens. And our thanks to Laufen. Next up is the Visual Identity Award. For this award, the judges looked not just at the interior design of the hotel, but the graphics, the online presence, the use of art and signage, and how these integrate with and reflect the hotel's aesthetic identity and personality. And on this year's shortlist, Birch, Chesant, England. Boho Club, Marbella, Spain. Chata de Vigne, villiers Soles, Belgium. Hotel Alberg, Lech, Austria. And not far away, Villa Arnica, Lana, Italy. The winner here has a refreshing human touch built with brand expansion in mind. So to reveal this winner from the judging panel, here's Linda Boronkai. And the winner is... Birch. Congratulations. Birch is a space for those living in cities to escape to. Birch has community at its core and the judges thought it was wonderful to see people at the core of the brand. Images are of the staff, Tom the farmer, the two founders in the swimming pool, you get the idea. Clean, modern design, visually engaging, simple yet memorable, with a sense of humour that reflects the vision of Birch. Our visual identity winner, Birch. Many congratulations to London-based creative agency Studio ASCC and the whole Birch team. Our penultimate award is for this year's best new concept. Here, the judges are looking for a new concept or brand and its integration of architecture, design, technology, service and other elements to create an outstanding hospitality experience. And the winner here is a real step forward in terms of approach, design and attitude. To reveal this winner from the judging panel, here's Geraldine Dehone. And the winner is for the new concept, Birch. Congratulations, great achievement.
Thank you so, so much for this award. It means so much to us after such a long journey amidst incredibly, incredibly challenging times. There have been so many wonderful, beautiful people that have supported us along the way and that have put their hearts and souls into this brand and business and all of whom deserve recognition. Absolutely. Thank you so much to all those people, too many to mention here. You know who you are, our internal team, our design team and all the people that have helped us just take a little step along this, uh, along this long journey. Thank you so much. Executive wins there for Birch. Congratulations to the whole team for keeping the faith, and particularly to interior designers Red Deer. Winner of the new concept award, Birch. Our final award celebrates the very best the industry has to offer. It's the Ahead Europe Hotel of the Year Award. To choose this ultimate winner, the judges voted for the project that, in their opinion, was the most coherent and consistent combination of architecture, interior design, and other elements to deliver an incredible guest experience. As ever, this was a very difficult decision for the judges. But in the end, after careful consideration, I can now disclose the top four projects. So, in reverse order, let's see who was in the final running. In fourth place, with a theatrical narrative throughout the property, it's Chateau de Vigne. In third place, the hotel with the human touch, it's Birch. In second place, a property with a smart layout and incredible attention to detail. It's Apfel Hotel. But when it came to first place, it's the one the judges called outstanding on many levels, ultimately memorable, visually stimulating, and expertly executed. So to reveal that winner, here's Sleepers, Catherine Martin. The Ahead Europe 2020 Hotel of the Year is The standards. Congratulations. Bang, the standard London hits you front and center, said one of our judges of the stunning transformation in the heart of King's Cross. The striking exterior goes hand in hand with a great interior narrative with strong cultural programming, bringing a variety of spaces to life. Bold, disruptive and fearless, the design is an avalanche for the senses. The colour, noise, vibrancy and graphic motifs are all clamouring for your attention. Add in the truly decadent standard style and you have a perfect blend of relaxed sophistication. This is a hotel that provokes and there are plenty of layers for us all to discover within this emblematic hotel by Archer Humphreys Architects and Sean Houseman Design. Well done to all involved. Greetings from New York City. It is such an honour and a pleasure to be here with you all virtually. Uh, to accept this award on behalf of the so many people, so many, so many talented people that worked tirelessly to bring the Standard London to life over <laughs> almost almost six years now. Uh, thank you to the AHEAD Awards Committee uh, for bringing our industry together the way that you do and for recognizing all the hard work that goes into creating a project like this. Thank you to Crosstree Partners, Nick and Sean, uh, you've been the best you really have been the best partners we could have ever asked for. We took a uh, 1970s brutalist town council building in King's Cross that was almost left for naught. And against all odds, we brought it back to life into what I believe is one of the most magical hotels in the world. Uh, thank you to Sean Houseman Design, not only for this masterpiece that you created with us, uh, but for all of your work over the last 20 years to help us make standard what it is today. Thank you to Archer Humphrey Studio, Orms Architecture. It's, it's, it's remarkable what you guys were able to help us pull off. Um, and we thank you for that work. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the standard team who works tirelessly with such dedication and such passion to create the magic that we bring to our guests and bring this building to life every day. It's been a tough, uh, tough, in, tough year to say the least for our industry. Uh, sadly, we had to close the Standard London again, uh, given the government regulations. Well, but I can tell you, we, we opened it brilliantly the first time, we opened it brilliantly the second time, and the third time is gonna be even better. And what I really look forward to is when, uh, when we're allowed to travel and convene and have fun again, to welcoming you all to the Standard London to see how 
remarkable it really is. Thanks again, take care and stay safe. Ahead Europe 2020 Hotel of the Year. Congratulations to the Standard London. Well, that's it for Ahead Europe 2020. Huge thanks to all our supporters and sponsors, including foundation sponsor Janus at Sea, global sponsors Caldeve, Laufen, RH Contract, Rocker, and Vilroy & Boch, event sponsors Beck and & Preciosa, and our trophy sponsor Lasvet. My warmest congratulations to all of this year's worthy winners. Something for us all to celebrate in this great industry of ours. There are more good times ahead at our Global Awards this December, when you can see the best projects from every region compete for our ultimate Global Winners trophies. Finally, and of course, most importantly, thank you for watching. That brings us to the official close of the Ahead Europe Awards 2020. It's now time to head to the virtual red carpet on Instagram Live at ahead underscore awards to see live reactions from some of our nominees and winners. And of course, to reveal tonight's best dressed awards held in association with Rome de Bellegarde, the world's most expensive cognac. Thank you for attending the ball.